All right, Shalom Akim. First and foremost, I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekah HaKwadash. Double honors unto the apostles of Great Millstone who rule and teach well. And salutations to the brothers that are pushing out this word in truth and in sincerity. This is your brother Yahweh Allah from GMS Chicago coming at you with another lesson. All right, and in this video, I want to go into the point of, you know, not worrying so much about these women, man. You know, not worrying about them, man. Um, too much, man. All right. Because uh, according to the scriptures, you know, e even if we, we, we hated our women, we're not supposed to diminish uh, them food or raiment. And, you know, the New Testament tells us that, um, you know, we can't deny them uh, sex, man. So those be the three things that, you know, um, we really only got to worry about give, giving them. You know, if they be if they be your woman, right, is uh food, you know, clothing and, and, and sex, man. All right, you know, um, you know, if you if you if you've been put in ch uh, charge over her, right, which you know a lot of these women, you know, they're they're bugged out. They they just do, you know, whatever they want to do. So that much more the reasoning than you know to not you know worry too much about it, man. Because at the end of the day, you know, we are the prize, man. You know, we are um, esteemed greater, you know, in the eyes of Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. All right. And we can, um, I'm gonna, I want to start off here in 1 Corinthians 11, which uh, clearly highlights that, man. All right. And then this is the New Testament. All right. This is uh, 1 Corinthians 11 and 1. It says, uh, I'm going to start at 1. It says, Be ye followers of me, even as I also am of Mashiach. Now I praise you, brethren. That you remember me in all things and keep the ordinances as I delivered them to you. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Mashiach and the head of the woman is the man. All right. So we're over the woman. We're ahead of the woman. All right. You know, the head of the household is supposed to be the man. All right. And the head of Mashiach is Yahweh. All right. So that's the order. It's the heavenly father then his son, all right, then then man, and then woman, okay? It says, you know, so we, we, we are, you know, we're not in the same level, man, all right? And if uh, we jump down, all right, to verse 7, it says, For a man indeed ought not to cover his head, for as much as he is the image and glory of God, um, but the woman is the glory of the man, all right? And, you know, Jake, you know, they love their women and shit. <laughs> That's why, you know, I read this um, verse here. It says the woman is the glory of the man. It's, you know, especially, you know, if, um, you know, she'd be pleased to dwell with you. You know, everything's going cool. You know, uh, um, Jake be, you know, uh, um, glorying in that. Like, that's my woman, man. You know, um, it said, but, you know. I, I read that, you know, so that, you know, knowing this, we can um, put that into account of, you know, how we're treating them. We can't let that consume us and, you know, take over us to the point where, you know, a, a, a man is pussy begging, you know, excuse my French, you know, uh, you know, got his head all up his woman's back end, you know, trying to, you know, appease them for every little thing that they want. You know, I just read the order, man. The head of the wo the woman is the man. All right. I'm going to keep reading verse eight. It says, for the man is not of the woman, but the woman of the man. Neither was the man created for the woman, but the woman for the man. So at the end of the day, you know, these women here were, were meant to, to serve us, man. All right. For, for our use, they were they were made for man's use. OK. All right. You know. Whether, you know, that be uh, bearing children, you know, um, you know, uh, raising them up, you know, uh, helping, helping, um, you know, around the house, you know, uh, doing all these, uh, you know, various different chores and, and even uh, for the sexual needs, man. All right. You know, the woman was created for the man, like it's written in Genesis that, um, that the Lord said um, the man should not be alone. You know, so he created a companion. And what did he do? He created Eve. All right. All right. But if then if I keep um, if I keep going, if I jump, 
you know, for time's sakes, it says, um, verse 15, it says, but if a woman have long hair, it is a glory to her for her hair is given her for a covering. So that shows you the levels, you know, you know, the different levels that we're in. All right. You know, for us, you know, she, our woman is, is, is uh, one of our uh, glories, man. And for her, one of her glories is her hair, you know? So that goes to show you, man, you know, a woman, a woman in the right mind to have long hair, you know, it'll be her, it'll be a glory for her, you know, for his giving to her uh, for a covering. All right. You know, but for us as the woman, so, you know, we got to keep that in mind. Like, um, like, yeah, that's in us, but you can't let that, you know, um, uh, um, overwhelm you to the point where you putting this woman, you know, over, uh, 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 over the, the heavenly father, man, at the end of the day, you know, what she glorying in, glorying in is her hair, man, you know, and, and yes, you know, um, you know, a man of the Lord is going to be, you know, um, you know, part of her, uh, her having a, a man of the Lord is going to be her glory in that time. But, you know, at this time, you know, these women, you know, they can't see that, man, you know, um, you know, whether they may see it a little bit, you know, they can't fully grasp that understanding, man, you know, so right now, you know, we got to deal with their, you know, dishonor, man, you know, and the scripture talks about that, um, Sirach chapter 28 and 11, it says, watch over her, over an impudent eye and marvel not if she trespass, trespass against thee, all right? And impudent I, you know, um, believe I might have it pulled up. Um, but it was talking about um, being dishonorable, you know, having a dishonorable eye towards you and to marvel not as you trespass against thee. So, you know, you got to, you know, roll with the punches and, you know, accept, accept certain things, you know, um, that they're not going to be perfect, man. But, you know, every man, you know, has their own limit, you know, how much they can take from a woman, you know, um, you know, but you know, that's, a, that's, a, that's, a <laughs> that's a lesson for another time. Let's keep going here. All right. This is the book of first Timothy chapter two and verse 11. It says, let the woman learn in silence with all subjection. All right. So there you go. You know, uh, these women, man, that, you know, they're supposed to be, you know, um, you know, under subjection, man, you know, much more if they claim to be in the truth. All right. But these women out here, they ain't in the truth, man. You know, they're going to do, you know, whatever they want to do, man. And as long as y'all you, you, please to dwell with each other. Hey, you know, then then that's then then, you know, keep keep that going. But like it says, marvel not if she trespass against you, man. All right. Because they're not going to hold you in the in the same high esteem. They're not going to hold you in the in a high esteem, you know. That they're so they're supposed to hold the man of the Lord, all right, you know, because um, quick um, quick uh, you know testimony. We had a a, do, a guy that was in the camp with us, and his woman, you know, was was uh, acting up with him because you know because he was teaching the word, man, and pretty much she was threatening to leave him, and you know he ended up getting some land out there in Mexico, so he ended up like leaving, you know. Uh, part his women and part for that land. All right. And one that in the, uh, and fast forward to today, you know, we come end up finding that the woman left them anyways, man. All right. So, so there you go. Like these women, man, you know, the, the, <laughs> the scripture says they'll get uh saved in childbearing, man. All right. They'll, they'll get saved by bringing forth uh, children uh, for the, of, of the man of the Lord. All right. So, you know, don't pay too much attention to these women, man. Like they'll they'll talk they'll talk shit to you now talking about, you know, um, you know, I need more time, you know, or, or whatever they say, you know, they need more attention, you know, but come come the day of the Lord, you know, and they see the seriousness of this truth and how us doing this work was for their salvation. You know, they're going to humble themselves, man. And if and if you fell into the trap of, of, of giving them more attention over over your how about Shimei Shai, in that day they're gonna be talking, sh still gonna be talking shit like 
damn, you know, well, why didn't, if you knew this was so important, why, why didn't you serve the Lord, you know? You know, these women, they're bugged out, man. You know, they're, they're just always going to talk shit. That's why, you know, you just got to make the initiative to, you know, give them the, the, the you know, what the, the scriptures tell you, which is food and raiment and, and sex. All right. E A and also too in Micah it says to 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 keep thy doors closed from thy mouth, from her that lieth in thy bosom. So you let them know what they need to know only, man. You don't need to be up there, you know, chatting it up all all, all damn day, man. You know? Cause a woman will use your words against you, man. Best believe that. All right. Um, you know, and and, and and that's you know, you do that, you know, uh, um food, raiment, sex. And, you know, uh, um, you know, you let her know what she needs to know and, and, and focus on your how about shimmy out shy. You know, don't worry about these women, you know, trying to get, you know, all this attention from you, you know, make that initiative and cut all the extra shit out so that you can best better serve your how about shimmy out shy shy. So you can get your reading in, so you can do your videos, so you can hang out with the brothers, break bread and you can go out and teach, man. All right, because that's important. That's what's gonna get us delivered, man. All right, not hanging hanging out and cuddling up with the with the woman. All right, at the end of the day, they're supposed to be in subjection, man. All right, but they, but they're not in in here, man. You know, like uh, the scripture says, uh, you know, uh, the Lord created a new thing. A woman shall compass a man. All right, but you know, you gotta show that you love Yahweh by Shemi Al Shai over these women. All right, um. So, yeah, that, that, that was it on this. Um, well, I could read 12. It says, but I suffer not a woman to teach nor to usurp, usurp authority over the man, but to be in silence, man. OK, so, you know, why Jake out there in the world got their head up their woman's ass. You know, the the Lord telling you that a woman, not even, she's supposed to be in silence, man. Not even supposed to be saying, you know, you know. Saying supposed to be running in her mouth, man. All right. So what you worrying about her, man? You know, at the end of the day, the Lord's going to come back to save his elect. All right. This is Genesis 3 and 16. It says unto the woman, he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception and sorrow. Thou shalt bring forth children and thy desire shall be to thy husband and he shall rule over thee, man. So the Lord gave gave us the rule over them from the beginning, man. So what are you worrying about her, you know, you know, uh, what, what she want you to do, man? Just do what the scriptures uh, uh, told you to uh, do for them. And, and, and that's it, man. You know, anything else would be extra, which you're not going off and doing anything extra. But the thing is, if you're lacking in, in, in what you need to do for your how about Shemiah Shai, which, we, you know, we're never going to do enough. But, you know, if you're lacking, lacking, if you've been bullshitting, you know what I'm saying? You know, if you've been bullshitting, then, then, um, then what you doing, what you doing, doing extra shit, you know, focus on, on pleasing your how about shimmy out shine first and foremost, man. All right. All right. Um, so yeah, man, the Lord gave us the rule over them. And ultimately, you know, in that day, they're going to be given unto us, man. Not going to be how much, you know, how many presents you can buy them or how many, uh, places, nice places you can take them. Or how sweet you talk to them. No, it's not going to matter, man. The men of the Lord are going to get these women, man. This is Isaiah 4 and 1. It says, and in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man, saying, we will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. And, and there you go. Those are the two things that we're required to give to them, you know, that we're not supposed to diminish them even if we hate hate them, you know. Um, but in that time, they said they're going to even do that for themselves, man. Only for what? It says, only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach, man. Right? Because in that in that day, man, if, you know, all hell breaks loose, if you're not a man of the Lord, uh, um, I mean, if, you, if, if a woman is not with a man, she going to get messed up out here in the streets, man, when all hell is breaking loose. And, and if you don't have a man of the Lord at that, you know, you're going to get jacked up still, man. Okay? So the men of the Lord are, are going to have these women, you know, coming up to them, man. And the brothers joke, you know, it was going to be to the point where, you know, they're going to be stiff arming some of these women, you know, 
because it says seven, it says seven women, but the the number is seven is a complete amount of num complete number. All right, you know it may it may get overwhelming, man. <laughs> Too many women. All right, so that time is gonna come, man. You know we just gotta seek Yahweh by Shimei Shai first, and everything else should be added. You know, and it's due time, and it's due season. All right, this is the book of Isaiah thirteen and eleven. It says, and I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity. And I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease. And I will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible, man. So the Lord's coming back with a judgment, man, you know, for a punishment for all the wicked deeds that are going on in the world, man. And, you know, and, and, and that includes you wicked ass women out there, man, you know, whose heart is there, snares and nets, you know, your heart which means your mind is snares and nets traps man you know manipulating men you know trying to get everything as much as you can out of a man you know and and, and a man of lore you should be wise to the to, to that man you know and you know you give you tell you tell them you know what they what they need to hear you know um uh only what they need to hear you know right and um you know you give them you know uh what was required of you you know and it you know, and, and that's really all you, all you need to do, man. You know, you don't need to do anything extra, man. If she want to leave, you know, well, 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 she leaves, man, and the destruction is going to come to them, you know. I let, I let um, you know, um, nah, <laughs> I, won't, I, I won't mention that. I, uh, I'll try to not, not make this personal. <laughs> all right. It says, I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease and will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible, man. I'm just going to keep this general. All right. Verse 12, it says, I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man than the golden wedge of Ophir, man. So in that time, man, you know, a man is really going to be precious, you know, and uh, a man of the Lord at that, you know, because, you know, women, you know, when, you know, if you get caught out here, you know, uh, you know, uh, a man out here trying to mess you up more, more than likely is that he's going to overtake you, man. But if you got a man to protect you and a man of the Lord at that, then you're going to be protected, man. Okay. I'll finish it off with this last scripture here. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 33 and verse one. It says, behold, a king shall reign in righteousness and princes shall rule in judgment. And a man shall be as a hiding place from the wind and a covert from the tempest and rivers of waters as rivers of waters in a dry place. As the shadow of a great rock in a weary land. All right. So there you go, man. You know, there's, there's going to come that time when these women are going to get back in their rightful mind and, you know, turn unto, uh, uh, unto their men so um, they can be what, uh, uh, what they were originally intended to be, man. You know, they're protect, protectors, man. But ultimately in the, in the kingdom, you know, they're not going to need protected because um all the men uh, you know all the men of our nation are going to be righteous man all right but best believe when she hits the fan you know when when uh turmoil is out here in the streets these women are going to look for a man to protect them man all right and if, if it's a man of the lord that much more uh better all right so anyways with that i hope the elect out there was edifying um I want to end this lesson by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakahakwadash. Double honors unto the apostles of Great Millstone who really teach well. Salutations to the brothers that are pushing out this word in truth and in sincerity. Uh, and salutations to, uh, right, right. Uh, and um, also to Shalom to the few sisters that are listening, you know, humbly in the cut. To the next one, I say Shalom. And as always, a bad babal. Don't take that microchip, which is the RFID uh, microchip, which is the mark of the beast. Shalom.